Hey everybody, it's Josie. Welcome back to Cedar Creek Homestead. Well today I'm bringing you another recipe for a bread that you can put on the table for your family, whether it's breakfast, uh, dinner, or supper. Uh, this particular recipe makes 12 muffins. Um, you can easily double it and make more. And you'll be surprised that the secret ingredient is cottage cheese. Now my family does not like cottage cheese. Howie didn't like it, Blade doesn't like it, Cheyenne doesn't like it. I'm the only one in the family that likes it. And so I like it with um, tomatoes and savory things. I like it with fruits. I just really, really like it. But to get them to eat it is another story altogether. But if you'll um, uh, use this cottage cheese in this recipe, it bakes in and they won't even know that it's in there. But it's another way for you to use ingredients that you have on hand for multiple uses. We already know that you can put it in lasagna and how he would eat it if it was in lasagna. Uh, Blade, he's not real crazy about it being in there, but he will eat it. Um, and then besides fresh eating, like what I told you I liked, there's other ways, and muffins is one of them. I think it's important for us to be able to use the ingredients that we're keeping on hand in our pantries, in our short-term pantries, like that's over here. This is what I pull from every day. Then out of our long-term storage and we're rotating out. I think it's important for us, especially the day and time that it is, the prices that they are, that uh, we know everything is going up, to be able to use things in more than one way. So without uh, further ado, let's get started. And I'll put the recipe down in the description below so if you missed anything. Sometimes I, on the last video, I don't even remember now what it was that I made. I, or, oh, it was the first aid video. I, um, I men mentioned something, and I was actually saying remedy, but um, a, a subscriber um, reached out to me and she didn't understand what I said and y'all just have to overlook my um, my very very country southern Arkansas accent I'll write the recipe instructions in the description below so that you can get all of the ingredients uh, you know as well as I do that I have made a few mistakes before and left off ingredients I actually added it but forgot to say what I was doing so um, I'll put it below so that you guys can get the correct amounts Okay, so you're just gonna need a few things and the first thing that we're gonna start out with is 16 ounces of cottage cheese. And we're just gonna put it right in the bowl. Now you don't have to get all your ingredients when you're making this at home. You don't have to get all your ingredients out and put them in all these little bowls like what I've done. Um, you just, and I don't do that when you guys aren't watching me. I just get what I need out and I don't usually have all these little uh, little tiny bowls to deal with. But anyway, so 16 ounces of cottage cheese. The next thing that you're gonna need is two, I'm sorry, three tablespoons of sugar, just granulated sugar. You're going to need two eggs. These are my farm fresh eggs. That's why they're the color that they are. And I have had them before where they're even um, darker colored than this. But uh, two eggs, and I, I like to uh, beat them up before I put them in with the other ingredients. And a half a cup of butter that's melted. Just right on in there. Now I'm going to go ahead and mix this up because our next three ingredients are the wet ingredients and I want to make sure that I've got this all well incorporated uh, before we add those. Now my sister-in-law Shannon gave me this recipe and when she gave it to me she didn't specify uh, small curd cottage cheese or large curd um, and when I'm eating it I like both, but I really like the large curd, and so that's what I picked up. So if you really have people in your home that might um, snarl their noses up and not even try it because of the thought of cottage cheese, it could be that maybe some of these curd, the larger curds, may not totally disappear, but we'll see. I'll show you when, we, when the muffins are done. And so anyway... Anyway... 
we've got all of that mixed together. That's what it looks like. I hope you can see that. I'm learning to use this GoPro, so now I don't have a little screen on the side, which might be better because now I'm, uh, I have to look right at the lens instead of off to the side some. So uh, I just have to, by faith, trust this video is going to turn out. Okay, so now on to your wet ingredient or your dry ingredients. You're going to need a half a teaspoon of salt. And you're going to need two cups of flour and two tablespoons of baking powder. And I'm going to go ahead and add the baking powder in there with my flour and just kind of mix it around a little bit before I put it into the wet ingredients just to make sure that that baking powder uh, gets in there a little bit better than just dumping it on its own. And I know y'all didn't see me just scoop some of that flour out on my apron. That's one reason why I wear aprons every day except for Sunday is because I'm a very, very messy cook. I don't mean to be. I'm not just a messy cook. I'm pretty messy with everything. And that's just me. Okay, so I've got that in there pretty good. So I'm just going to dump it in there. And we're going to get this mixed together. This is definitely not a loose batter by no means. Got this all incorporated. Now you don't want to over mix these. You just want to mix them until everything is incorporated. Now I am um, using my uh, muffin tin. This one happens to be non-stick. Uh, if you don't have a non-stick one, you may want to spray the pan. And um, you'll notice that the batter is thick. It's not a runny batter. And so I'm going to divide this. This. Um, almost like a dough-like consistency. I'm gonna divide it between the 12 uh, muffin tins. Let me move this book out of your way. And so I'm just gonna to try to eyeball it. You know how that goes sometimes. And I'm just gonna put some in each of them. And you'll notice that it's, uh, like I said, it is not a wet batter at all. And of course I know that this isn't it's not going to be perfect measurements, and I don't care about that. My family won't care, uh, especially if they uh, can see the cream, the cottage cheese after it's baked in there. Now, of course, my hands are clean because I'm having to use the vessel that God gave me. I can tell that I'm going to actually be able to put quite a bit of this dough in each of the muffin tins. So I may have to go back and add some more. Uh, you know, and I could have got my cookie scoop out. Now, if you want a smaller muffin, I su uh, suppose you could use two muffin tins and, and divide it up even smaller. But I'm going to go back in and add dough to these. smaller ones and we'll see what kind of muffins we turn out with now there are other recipes for cottage cheese muffins and they call for different ingredients some call for um, yogurt to be added and using less cottage cheese uh, and that I'm sure those are very good uh, some call for buttermilk, and those are probably really good. But I just wanted to make this one today. I, this is a tried and true recipe, and um, I wanted to make it so that uh, y'all could see making uh, these muffins using a few ingredients okay 
Now I'm going to put this in a 350 degree oven for 20 minutes. Now every oven is different and so it might take your oven a little bit longer. Or it might take your oven a little bit less to get them done. But what we're looking for is golden brown on the top and um, stick a toothpick in and make sure that they're done. So I'll get these put in there, let them bake, and we'll come back and see what we, what we end up with. The muffins are out of the oven and as you can see they um, they mound up really pretty and they make a nice presentation. Now remember I did not put these in muffin cups. I just put them in the muffin tins and um, they did not stick for me. I'll tell you as I was removing them from the muffin cups I took a butter knife and just went around the edges just to make it easier and they lifted right out. And um, the other thing I will tell you that I did have to bake them about five minutes longer. So for me, um, I had to go about 25 minutes. If you want them to be a little bit browner than what these are, um, you might want to go a little bit longer. But this is good and this is good for me. I like them that way. And I'm going to take one of these muffins, and um, I'll tell you that you can see a little tiny bit of the cheese, the cottage cheese. But uh, if a kid or a person was just looking at it, they wouldn't think it was anything other than just something that you actually, if you make muffins and, and other things and you add, uh, add in stuff, cream cheese and other things, the kids are probably going to think, or any of your picky eaters, husbands included, are probably going to think that that's just some kind of add-in that they don't mind. So let's just... Um, I'm going to cut this open. That's still hot, so... Uh, that might uh, change a little bit but you can see or I hope you can see well I'll just hold it here is the inside of the muffin I would say that right there I can see a little tiny speck uh, but they're not going to know what that is I don't think um, and it you can see that it's really tender and soft and I'm gonna um, take a little bite. These actually taste a whole lot like a biscuit. And so, uh, in my opinion, you could use it savory with um, whatever you're having for supper. If you're having beans or, or, you know, some kind of meat dish or stew or soup or something, it would work with that. But it also would work a little bit um, with butter and maybe some jelly or um, some honey or molasses so you could make it sweet as well. Um, I hope you guys give it a try. Try to sneak that extra uh, little ingredient in there. You know, uh, if you are the only person in your family that likes cottage cheese, you know sometimes you can't really get the whole carton um, used up before it starts to go bad. And so now you have another option of using it in putting a bread, a quick bread on the table. It took just a little bit to mix it up, 20 to 25 minutes to bake it, and you've got some nice, nice cottage cheese muffins to share with your family. Might want to keep the cottage cheese part secret. Anyway, I hope this helps guys look well to the ways of your household to use up some more of your refrigerator and pantry ingredients to make our food budget stretch a little bit further. And until next time, guys, this is Josie. I love you. I really do. We're gone.